Last time we went fishing, Spectre the Unchained was newly released and both Gladia and Andriana were module lifts. With their new modules, has this meta squad improved even more? Let's go fishing in 2023 to find out. What's up everyone, my name is Boostreams and welcome back to another Arknights Abyssal Hunters squad showcase. In this video, we will be clearing four of the hardest stages in the game with the Abyssal Hunters. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. If we hit 500 likes this video, I'll make another Abyssal Hunters showcase when altars can be deployed at the same time as the original operators. This squad is going to get crazy. Our first stage is SVEX8. As always, we will take turns highlighting one operator per map. The star of this map is Andriana. I have to admit, I always neglected the Cuttlefish Sniper until now. With her new module, she ends up carrying the squad in a lot of stages, in this case beating tentacles with tentacles by easily sniping down the big cultured boss, while Gladia and Spectre hold the left and the right lanes. Andriana's module, Gunsmithing Toolkit, increases the damage she deals the further away an enemy is, up to 15%. It also grants the Abyssal Hunters an extra 8 attack speed from her talent at level 3, and ups her attack by 91 and max HP by 121. This module not only increases her damage, but also the damage of the entire squad. To be honest, looking at these numbers just makes me want to cuddle with the cuttlefish. Terrible puns aside, Scatty is able to slice through the egg boys and the boss more efficiently now thanks to the attack speed boost. While this is normally a painstakingly challenging level, the Abyssal Hunters cleared this map with ease. Our next stage is 5-10. Okay, so this isn't an extremely hard stage for endgame players, but it is a great test of operator's regenerative capabilities due to the continually firing crossbows. And testing regenerative capabilities is exactly what we'll do, with Gladius module taking the spotlight. Gladius module, console's hand mirror, deals arts damage to enemies proportional to the distance traveled when pulled, but more importantly allows all Abyssal Hunter operators to recover 3.5% max HP every second, and reduces 30% physical and arts damage from enemies. This is so insane that it was ranked the number 2 module in the entire game in my last module tier list video. Also note that Spectre the Unchained is on her module 2, which grants plus 30% max HP for all Abyssal Hunters on top of Gladia's regen. In addition, Scatty's module provides plus 20% max HP for all Abyssal Hunters. With his insanely high max HP and fast recovery, the Abyssal Hunters have become the Immortal Hunters. Despite the high level enemies, Spectre the Unchained, Scatty, and Andriana slice through all of the enemies like their butter. They make both bosses look like they are Originium Slugs, another easy clear for the squad. They might just be the most overpowered squad in the game at this point.
Our third stage is DSS-1. I'm going to be completely honest. This one took me hours to get right. It's hard, but nothing the Abyssal Hunters can't conquer. We'll use Gladion's skill 3 on the bottom lane to hold the lane and deal damage to the boat guys, Spectre the Unchained on S2 to hold the top lane and deal damage to the boat guys, Andriana on S1 facing left as a safety net, and Scatty on S3 to hold the left lane. The star of this map is Spectre the Unchained with her first module, which was voted the number one module in the game in my last video, and turns her into an assassination machine, true to her nature as a shark. She shreds through the top left boat guy with her fast attacking chainsaw skill too, and when her skill is over, her arts damage dealing aura helps take out the right chainsaw guy. Another easy clear for the 2023 Abyssal Hunters. Our third stage is NL10. This is the final boss stage of the currently rerunning Near Light event and the introduction of the Blood Knight, one of the most annoying bosses out there. Fortunately, we have the Abyssal Hunters on our side. This stage's MVP is actually not an individual operator, but teamwork as a whole. Scatty is still using her Moist Sword Bag module, which grants all Abyssal Hunter operators 22% attack and 20% max HP, compared to only 14% attack without her module. With Scatty, Andriana, Spectre, and Gladia's modules combined, we have plus 22% attack, plus 50% max HP, 3.5 max HP regen per second, 0.5 SP per second, and 30% reduced physical and arts damage for enemies. I have to say, this team is completely stacked. So how good is this team? It's amazing. It can clear so many stages in the game with no help whatsoever. Building any of these operators is no mistake, let alone the entire team. A quick reminder that we're going for 500 likes for more Abyssal Hunters. Thanks for watching. Peace.